It's been two days since I apparently woke up in this room. I've been staring at this wall ever since, but I think I'm ready to leave. Yeah, that's not a good sound. Reminds me of my way down to this place in the first place. Except everything's broken. I realize that there's a doctor's note there, but I can't read apparently. Nope. Can't go that way. I've been testing this for a bit, if you haven't noticed how well I kind of know everything. So, we're missing a gear wheel. Everything's still broken. Ah! He stole my gun! That was rude. I don't have anything to fight with. Not even my foot. <laughs> well, yeah. At least to give you a reason for it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's some. Uh. Some issues with uh, compatibility with uh, later GZ Dooms. Only for like two objects so far. I see you. I see you. Or not. Uh, I don't like these flies. <sighs> strange mirror. Yeah, I can't interact with the mirror whatsoever, so I'm kind of stuck here. Not really. Uh, I, I just have to do some tinkering. Anyway... King. Alright, so we, we're, we're gonna fade into this portion. The mirror doesn't work on this side either. 
which is a bit strange, actually. Uh, it, I was wondering if it was, uh, like, showing both realities on it, or just the one that's currently mirrored in the mirror. Hopefully that was the correct amount of, uh, things. Yeah, uh, I decided to kind of cheese it a bit and run it with, uh, complex running. Just complex, not LCA. It doesn't... It's not 100% compatible, so... satchel, armor, and health flask. Oop. Doesn't want me going down that way, obviously. Pretty sure there's no, like, uh, advantage of playing with complex versus normal on this. Except for grenades and... Extra help. Alright. I mean, I'll just run this episode, technically. Got all the weapons in the deck to start unloading. Ow. Ow. At least running at it how I have it right now is like... Kind of a thing where... It tends to run better this way. Than if I did it the other way around. The question you gotta ask now, was the offense of the first part just like a dream? Was our Doom guy just imagining all of that, for example? Silent Hill does kind of deal in the whole psyche of snakes. Okay, the only oddity is when imps turn into uh, the nightmare imps or whatever they're called. These guys will die as normal, except when they're pretending to be another imp. Don't mind me. I, I really hate this part with the this. Like I said, it really hates those ones. But likes the voidance. Ow. I guess they don't have really a equivalent, so... Ow. 
Uh, I don't want to pick that up yet. Uh, also, Hell Knights are uh, kind of broken in here. I'm not really showing it, but sometimes the yeah. Now they also hit very hard. So I could be dead. And then I'll just have to restart. But, yeah, I'm basically dead. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here, so, uh... <laughs> Thanks for the health. There's not anything else in here. Lock broken. And there's a secret on this map, but it also could be a lot later in the map. I think I'll save. Yeah, pretty much, it's one of those things where it's like... Okay, uh, I should mention that this pack wasn't... It was... This map set wasn't quite finished yet. Pretty much kind of made right after the first one was finished. Oh. I haven't really met that many human enemies to actually farm grenades and mines off of. I or satchels for that matter. So the term of use grenades wisely actually. Okay, you were pretending to be another imp. Although, it is good to actually give you the chain gun this early. I should actually stop talking when I'm firing because I'd probably get drowned out by it. Yeah, that, that's a... Uh Thing and messing <laughs> ah, see? Thought he was alive, so I shot at him. Potentially wasting ammunition in the process. I don't know if there's anything on my way out. But I'm gonna have to do that map trick of mine again. Well, it's mostly switching the map and then no clipping to where I need to be. Does that break things? Probably, but I'm attempting to be, like, kind of legit about it. So, another fade here. Yeah, if you're wondering why I have to keep doing that, it's because, uh, like I said, GZ Doom doesn't really like, or the newer versions of GZ Doom don't really like, um, those trigger locations. It likes everything else, but 
you attempt to do something like that, and it just hates it. So with that gear wheel, we were able to activate all of the uh, items in the house. So we made a portal there. Or we could make a portal there. We can go down these staircases. Although I don't have really... There's no real point of going to, to that level yet, because... I think it's better to go there after you have one key. Okay, we can start down here. Or... Up there. As long as we get one of the keys, we should be good. It's also funny that you can trigger that multiple times and nothing happens after that. So, yeah, if you're just wondering what that random fade was, I just decided to just end things off in this room here. Um, should I continue with, into this with complex or, like, play it legit, uh, just no mods? I mean, I can't, there's no difficulty. A difference. Sometimes things could be way harder with complex. Although, without LCA, things are kind of limited in how uh, chaotic they can be. But. Okay, footsteps, you are ruining the. But the reload mechanic has uh, kind of screwed me over a bit. Especially against the sorcerers who make a return. I mean, you do technically get more, like, loot and such, but at the same time you're also having to deal with a lot more stuff that the game doesn't really take account for, especially against uh, the, the harder enemies from the original. I mean, I was able to technically deal with that winged hell knight pretty easily. But I did take a lot of damage on that one. I don't know if that's the default complex uh, damage modifier, but... Or... It, was it actually masquerading as the other entity that it was supposed to not be?